I'm Pam with Magic Studios. Today we're going to learn the Gelgit pattern, which is the basis for many other patterns that you're going to continue to see on my YouTube channel. It comes from a Turkish word meaning to and fro. So watch as the rake goes to and fro on the marbling tray. I am going to be using specially mixed paints. I have a special yellow, a light green, a dark green, a violet. So those are specially mixed today and you can get those at my marblemagic.etsy site. We also need two tools today. We need a single point. It can be your choice of a single point. Remember I have a, a an old knitting needle and then I bought this tool and it is a stylus. Uh, the unique and original tool to use by the Hebrew artist in Turkey. Then you also need a rake with one inch spaced tines on it. Doesn't have to look exactly like mine. As long as they're one inch apart, you'll be good to go. So let's get started. And here we are with a freshly skimmed tray. So for this set of lessons on the Gelgit, I'm dropping my paint in a very particular manner. I'm going vertically down the middle of the tray and then lining the colors on either side of the center color. And this technique was taught to me by the St. John's of Chena River Marblers, so a shout out to them for giving me extra skills that I can share. And so with this special color set, you have the yellow, the purple, a light green, and a dark green. And as you notice, I put some light green in the dark green to break it up, and some purple in the yellow. Now, using your one inch rake, go vertically downward, split the strokes, go up to the top. Now, cross and split the strokes going back toward the left. And there is the pattern. It's going to be uh, captured by the paper, as we know how that is a great thing. And the magical marbling reveal. And start on your tray, and I quickly put on yellow and then purple, and then you want to add a darker color. Watch how I'm placing the drops on the leading edge of that drop. And they expand and they fill the space and keep white space to a minimum. Next I am repeating the purple so that uh, you have unity in your marbled print. And now a little bit of light green. Strategically placed. Now using your one inch rake, I'm starting horizontally. Go to the right, go back to the left, dividing those strokes. And look at that. When you just do it, those two strokes, it makes a beautiful pattern. I like how the yellow looks going down the middle. And now it's time for the magical marbling reveal. Okay, so here I am. I'm going to put purple going down the middle of the tray. Plus, I ask you to have two tools ready the single point tool. So in this section, I'm going to show you how to create a Gelgit pattern with a single point. And remember that Gelgit means to and fro in Turkish, because you're going back and forth to and fro across your marbling tray. The last two patterns ended up, they were horizontal designs. So we want to try and show you a different one. Well, there's nobody but me here, so I want to show you a different one so that you can see that it doesn't matter the order that you do your strokes. You can start out vertical, you can start out horizontal, and there's that Hebrew tool of a single point. It's a metal 
metal point and usually I drag it on the bottom and see I'm going to and fro over my tray and like I said earlier if you want to stop and print a design before you finish all of the steps of what you have in your mind you should do it as I see this right now I would have printed this puppy in a heartbeat had I stopped and admired it but now I see I'm going vertically and the thing with the single point, which is kind of cool in creating your gel get, is that you can control how close the strokes are and you're zigzagging back and forth across the tray, which really kind of makes it cool. And that is how the Turkish Ebru artists did their gel get at the very first. And they had huge trays, I mean, three times as big as my little cookie tray. So that's a vertical gel get that I am printing right now. And you know the technique to lay your paper down and I'm not making a mistake this time. And ready, set, and reveal. How awesome. And wow, there's some purple. And here we go, I'm using yellow. I just love yellow and purple, but I guess you've heard me say that. So you can put them in any order and add other colors as you want. But I'm going to show you my version of a waved gel get. really so much fun. The more I marble paper and fabric, the more I love the whole process and I'm so enjoying sharing the process with you that it's my way of teaching and reaching out to you. Yes, do wipe the tines of your rake frequently because colors do mix and uh, contaminate what's on the tray at the current time. So again, I'm going to do the uh, four step drawing pattern. I started right to left and look at that pattern. I could have printed it right now had I not had something else to show you. And now I'm drawing vertically because my last stroke I want to be a wavy horizontal stroke. Wee! And look at that. I just love to watch it and look at it on the tray. Print it and save it forever. Wow, do you see why I love this? A good color contrast, either between light and dark or warm and cool, to have that pop. So always keep that in your memory as you are marbling, whether you're using my specialty paints or your own. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate those of you that tune in time and time again. I welcome the new followers. Thank you so much for joining in and learning. I can't wait to meet you, so drop a message in the chat box so we can begin to learn what each other does. Um, next up in the mini lesson series is the non -pareil. The non pareil means unequaled in French. So until then, this is Pam saying, Marble on!